Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn. In this session, we will unveil the Microsoft 365 Copilot for Excel. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data analytics, and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers postgraduate programs from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academics from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started. So, Microsoft 365 Copilot is one of the latest AI products launched by Microsoft. So, the Microsoft 365 Copilot will be your AI assistant for all your office suits from Microsoft. So it can help you ease up your process of making PowerPoint presentations. It can help you write down the notes on Microsoft Word and many more. But today we will be using this particular 365 Copilot for our data analytics using Excel. So let me mind you, this particular AI tool works with the versions of Microsoft Office 365 and later, right? Now there should be a new feature added upon to your Excel on the top right corner of your home button but again if it's not it's completely all right you can use your microsoft home button where you can find the microsoft 365 copilot so let's navigate to the home button yeah now i'm on my home button and here you can see a small icon which is completely new out of nowhere this is your copilot right and you can just click on it and you can fire up your copilot and uh, today's point of discussion is about Copilot with Microsoft Excel. So when you are starting Excel, there are some prerequisites when you're working with Copilot. So currently it is in the preview mode. So it is capable of using some data set, which is in the tabular format. I have converted this into a tabular format. It's really simple. Control A to select all the cells and then Control T to convert this table and get uh, the option I my data set has headers and okay so your data set will be converted into a table and another prerequisite is when you pop up the microsoft uh, copilot it will ask you for a data set which is under 1000 kilobytes so my data set here is about 800 kilobytes which should be here so the only process is you just have to click on this particular option which says attachments and go to the data set that you want to work today so i'll be selecting my sales eu copy and just press open it will take a little time because it's completely new so it might take a little time for that so the only uh, catch is microsoft copilot is a little slow compared to the other competitive copilots or ai modules it's not a big deal they will catch up soon let's wait for some time while the data set loads and then you can fire some of the commands let's say i have given my command here Please help me create a regional wise sales report for this data set. And you can also give a few more commands, right? So it's loaded right now. You can see the icon here. Now you can write down give me country wise sales report and just fire the command. You can also, um, you know, perform all your data analytics, what you regularly do, right? When you have a sales data set, you might be wondering what it can do and what it cannot you just have to build a story about the report what you want to create and then just you know write it down to the copilot and it will generate the report that you are looking for currently it is working on the country wise sales report so it should be giving me the report shortly it's okay so there are some uh, problems with this so maybe it's the data set data type so here we have uh, country and the data is general so you might want to change that to uh, text format or character format 
so you have the text data tag here and just okay now save it back now you can ask the copilot once again okay or let's try to do a different one okay now here we have the order date and column c right now let's say i wanted to find out which day did they visit right is it a friday is it a saturday or monday right so just try to ask the copilot let me write it down can you help me find out which week of the day was an order placed you we have a column named order date column is C. we need a new column that tells me the day of the week when an order was placed so let's fire the command now it should give us a column d which is an empty column right next to order date or it should give us the steps to do the same just fire the command it might take a little while okay here we have it certainly i'll create a new column d in your data set great this is what we needed and so on let's try to ask another query can you tell me name of the customer with highest sale record in the data set so the previous query which we fired at will not be reflected on this particular data set but it can be reflected on the basis that we shared with the copilot here so currently i don't have a direct connection with my excel over here i think it should be taking some time for getting me that update over here but anyways it will be updated in the data set that it is currently dealing with that's not a problem now let us see what's the answer i apologize but it seems that i'm unable to extract any text content from the uploaded file it's okay let's try to file there are some discrepancies but it should be resolved soon but let's try some other thing like region wise sale so let's say you are an excel expert so you can do it within a few fraction of seconds you can just apply filters and get that data but there are a lot of people new to excel so for them the copilot from microsoft could be a boom right but down the line there are improvements rolling up so i could predict that it could be a lot faster and you can have seamless integration with your microsoft excel and your copilot and things could be a lot easier right so far we have the result over here so it is giving us a few results and it is finding a little difficulty to extract a few that shouldn't be a problem in a few couple of days where the new updates roll out so um, proceeding ahead let's try to give it another query or so so let's check the data set so here we have the categories and subcategories i think we can give it um uh, okay can you give me the category wise profits so here we can identify which category is performing really good and giving us highest number of profits so i think let's check out if we have a profits column yes we do have a profits column over here so let's check that brilliant right so it's giving us distilled reports in one prompt so that should be helpful for any of the data analysts which are aspiring uh, right and uh, which don't have any have any idea about how excel really works okay it seems that i'm able to extract text content from uploaded files okay let's try to copy this and write it down as okay is it category okay let's copy this as well i think it's about the case right category subcategory okay, let's let's fast subcategory category sales report okay it's giving us the previous answer to the previous query okay i think this should help it's unable to extract a lot of answers so far currently there should be some discrepancy but down the line it should be fixed unable to extract any text content from the uploaded file okay so basically that's how you can uh, work with your 
Copilot in Microsoft 365 Excel. So uh, there are some discrepancies so far, so it should be fixed down the line. So that's how you can use uh, Copilot in Excel for your data analytics. And, and with that, we have come to an end of this session on Microsoft 365 Copilot for Excel. And if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require any of the resources that we used in the session, like the data set that we used, which is in tabular format and under 1000 kilobytes, please do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Let us know your experience working with Copilot in Excel and we can learn a thing or two from you as well. And with that, signing off and stay subscribed to Simply Learn for more updates. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.